another day, another phone call. Oh God, I hope it's not another telemarketer. Hello? Douglas, you incompetent spies fool. How dare you hit on my calls? Stella, what on earth is going on? Why are you speaking to me like this? Don't play dumb with me. You know exactly why I'm calling. The divorce papers, you idiot. Have you even bothered to look at them? Look, Stella, I've been busy with work and trying to sort things out. I'll get it eventually, okay? No need to blow up the phone. Busy? With work? Don't give me that crap. You're probably off wasting your time with a new fling of yours. That's none of your business, Stella. We're getting the divorce, remember? You're such a spineless coward. You never stood up for yourself, even during our marriage. And you're still the same pathetic excuse for a fucking demon. Stella, please. Let's not do this right now. We're not together anymore, and there's no point in dragging this out. Oh, you bet your sorry ass there's a point. I won't let you off so easily. You'll regret the day you had decided to divorce me. Regret? What are you even talking about? This marriage was falling apart, and you knew it. It matters all your fault. You were never there for me, always obsessed with your damn business deals and your little red imp. You know who I was even before we got married. My work is essential, and you never complained before. Well, things change, and now I want my fair share of this divorce, and you will give it to me. <sighs> Fine, we'll sort it out through the lawyers. I don't want to fight with you anymore. Don't you dare hang up on me, Stolas. I don't intend to, but you're not giving me much choice in the matter. Oh, going all passive-aggressive now, huh? Just fucking typical of you. This conversation isn't productive at all. I'll call the lawyer and have them reach out to you. Goodbye, Stella. You can't avoid this forever, Stolas. You will pay for what you did. Good bye, Stella. <sighs> Some things never change.